Can zebras be domesticated? Zebras look like horses, right? We ride horses, so can we ride zebras? Well, the short answer is no. Several attempts were made to domesticate zebras for human purposes in the late 19th and early 20th century, but people soon realized it wasn't practical. Zebras are aggressive. They have evolved to protect themselves from large predators in the African wilds, and as a result, they are easily agitated and prone to bursts of violence when feeling under threat. They are also smaller than horses and their backs aren't as strong, so carrying adult humans would be uncomfortable. There have been a few isolated cases where people have managed to tame zebras to a certain extent. A famous example is that of Victorian zoologist Lord Walter Rothschild, who trained a group of zebras to pull vehicles. He once drove a zebra-drawn carriage to Buckingham Palace. According to renowned American scientist Jared Diamond, In order for humans to be able to successfully domesticate an animal, they must meet six criteria. One, they must be willing to eat the food available in and around human settlements to survive. For example, cows and sheep eat grass, and cats and dogs can eat our scraps and the vermin that these scraps attract. Two, the animal must reach maturity quickly in order to provide a benefit to the human, either through labor or as food. This is why widespread domestication of elephants is not practical. Despite the fact that they can be tamed and are good workers, they just take too long to reach maturity compared to a human's lifespan. Three, the animal must be willing to breed in captivity. Humans will not be able to provide large open spaces for the animals to breed, so creatures such as antelopes and pandas that demand a lot of territory in order to breed cannot be domesticated. Four. The animal must be inherently good-natured. This is one of the reasons why zebras are out. Five, the animal can't be skittish. If animals easily panic and constantly attempt to flee, domestication will prove impossible. This is what has kept foxes from being successfully domesticated. They panic easily in contrast to dogs and wolves, which have both been successfully domesticated. And finally, the sixth criteria requires that the animal respect a social hierarchy. This means that they will accept humans as their masters. So, after running through the criteria, it's clear that zebras do not meet all six. They are not good-natured. They are known to be skittish, and they aren't readily willing to accept humans as their masters. This is why zebras cannot be domesticated. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to London City Girl for more informative and interesting videos. Thanks for stopping by and supporting our channel, and we'll see you next time.